doing a live stream. On a live stream, how do you like that? Pretty neat. Well, decided today, 4th of July. It's nice to get out. You can see I'm at the uh, Lohanna Gorge, right where it exits and goes into Kingston Dam. Now, normally I'd be under like about three feet of water. But because it's so dry, I can take my kayak and go up here. A lot of the flora you find along the Lohanna Dam are these trees. You have uh, that grows some sycamore trees, some maple. This area right here, you can see where the stream is. When they put the road in, they put the road in. They made it so that it takes the brunt. That concrete takes the brunt of that uh, curve in the gorge, and uh, it really shoots the water down through here. So this is uh, an area you see a lot of debris like this big tree over here. As far as fishing goes. This is a phenomenal spot. I mean, he's it's one of my favorites. I've never actually stood here and fished though. I usually would walk up the creek up to this part and wade in. These rocks are very slippery. Of course you have different parts of the creek that A little bit more moderately as it changes course over the years. And some tiger lilies growing there. So, all these people live along here. This guy here has a uh, paddle boat. They have it pretty easy, you know, most of the year. But you get the winter floods with the ice jams that come through here uh, up to where you have the um, regular floods in the spring and all last year and the year before it was at flood stage all year long a lot of these people there the flood water was right up to their porch so it looks like a beautiful place you'd want to live but nothing is ideal about it deepest spot I've seen so far and that's why I wanted to take my kayak up because the fish is a good bit there's places that you think would be deep and they're only about a foot deep um, down on that curve there's a rock and right on the other side of the rock, it's very, very deep. So, um, what I'm going to do today is just kind of float down this thing with my bait, with my pole, and just relax, take in some sun, enjoy Independence Day. You can't social distance any better than this. I'm at least a couple hundred feet. If not, I'm well, counting the motorists a couple hundred feet from anybody around me, so I'm not really doing anything crazy. You can see how high the rim of the gorge is just to that next step. That over the centuries, that whole face, and those trees aren't there. I can see a little bit of rock right here. You probably can't see it, but the whole face is just solid face of rock from the stream coming down through here. And it follows that the whole way up that edge. The further you can see that it, the inner rim of the gorge, because it goes up higher, like it goes in a lift and it goes up higher beyond this. The uh, inner ridge of it is an old stream bed. It's been cut away. Come from it, what the hell? Smooth some of these sandos are. Crayfish living under it. Pretty neat. I wanted to show you all this because when you're trout fishing, especially on Little Hannah, fly fishing, 
fishing with bait, whatever. This is ideally, right now it's too hot for him, but it's ideally where you'd want to be catching trout. Any, anywhere where you see water that comes like this in an open area. I throw it right there, right out from where that little rock is. And I tell you what, I'd probably get my limit any day of the week when it's not 98 degrees. <laughs> It gets this hot and all these trout go into deeper waters. But, uh, got my sun dolphin and my moose jaw water bottle that fits perfectly on here. They gave it to me last year. Uh, they they kind of sponsored me in a way. I, I won their contest and they, 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 they sponsored me. They said, hey, if you go out, tell people you have our bottle. Tell us what you think of it. And I wanted to show you why I like moose jaw as a product. You can see how well that fits under the river kayak. And it's not going anywhere. It's really not going anywhere at all. Uh, these bungee cords hold it in real nice and tight. I can hit some white water. It could fall out, but I'm not too worried about it, you know? I mean, it's a $12 water bottle. It's not something that I'm going to be losing sleep over. But I, I wanted to thank them again for their product, give a shout out to them, and uh, I'm going to do some fishing. I'm going to wish you all a very happy and safe. Fourth of July from the Wilhanna Gorge.